In this video, I'll show you how to set up a two-variable data table in Excel. A two-variable data table allows you to test how multiple scenarios of two inputs affect the value of an output. Data tables help us conduct sensitivity analysis and are widely used in the investment industry. An example is using data tables to see how two variables such as the cost of capital and the sales growth figures impact the share price of a stock. In our example, we want to determine how changes in the annual return and investment term will impact the future value of our investments. We're assuming that the amount we want to invest is £200,000 and that the future value is calculated using the compound interest method. Firstly, we're going to calculate the future value of the investments for these inputs. And we're then going to put together a data table, which allows us to see how changes in the annual return and investment term impact the future value. We can calculate the future value of our investments by first taking the initial amount and then multiplying this by one plus the annual rate of return to the power of the term, which is 25 years. Therefore, if we put £200,000 into an investment account that earns 5% in interest each year and keep it there for 25 years, then we will end up with £677,270. Now, we want to quickly be able to see how the future value of our investments would change if we made changes to our investment term and annual rate of return. To do this, we can use a two variable data table. Firstly, let's input the investment returns we want to test. In our case, let's test for returns ranging from three to 7.5%. At the same time, let's test investment terms ranging from 21 to 30 years. Now that we have the inputs we want to test, we can create our data table. To do this, select cells B11 to L21, ensuring that the selection includes the formula we used to calculate the future value initially. To create the data table, enter the data tab and then select what if analysis, followed by data table. Our investment terms are displayed vertically, so the investment term will be the column input cell while the rates of return are displayed horizontally, so the annual return will be the row input cell. Finally, we can click OK. Therefore, Excel has calculated what the future value would be for each of these combinations of annual returns and investment terms. In other words, if our annual rate of return is 3% and our term is 21 years, then this will be our future value. Whereas if our annual return is 7% and our investment horizon is 28 years, then the future value will be this figure. Let's prove that the data table did indeed return the correct outputs by testing the manual formula. If our rate of return is 3% and our term is 21 years, then the formula to calculate the future value is 200,000 multiplied by one plus the 3% to the power of 21. The manual formula gives exactly the same value as the one returned in the data table. Therefore, our data table allows us to quickly compare what the outputs would be for various inputs without having to calculate them manually. So that's how you can create a two variable data table in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.